Welcome to Chart Cars. Today we'll be retrofitting roof rails to the 3 series touring. And this side is already done. So you can see it can be done. If your car don't have roof rails, we'll be showing now a DIY how to do it your own car. So here are the, all the tools you, you will need for the uh, retrofit. A T40 Torx head. A T35. Uh, sorry, T30 Torx head, uh, a hand wrench for I like to feel the final tightening steps by hand, and if you want to be faster, a drill bit, uh, and you will need actually a eight mil drill bit uh, to poke holes in the roof. Don't worry, they are meant to be poked, and then this plastic. Uh, tool to remove uh, trim pieces so that you can move this trim piece without scratching your car. And a good, if you like to keep your tools nearby, a piece of cardboard like this is good so you don't scratch your roof. Alright, so let's get cracking. Alright, so the easiest point to start the jo this job is from the back. This is the rear spoiler. Uh, uh, above the rear window and then you put this plastic uh, tool right here beneath this trim piece and then twist up and it should lift really easily like this like this and then with this you can pop the whole trim piece out Right, now that we removed the trim piece, it should look like this. And these uh, are for the, uh, there's a plastic tab in the underneath the trim piece that attaches to here. And you might want to remove them, them from the trim piece. Uh, I'm talking about these pieces. If you don't have them enough of them on the new trim piece, so that you can utilize these. Um, And then when you're buying the, the set for the uh, roof rails, it should come with the roof rails and with six pieces like this and uh, two torx bolts for, uh, for every piece and then one plastic piece like this that fits under here, like so like this but before you put these you need to drill two uh, six holes on one side and six holes on the other side and the six holes are uh, two here two here and there are two dimples marking the spot that you need to uh, drill here you see the two kind of nibs they don't go through it's solid you will need to drill those out open uh, and you can use directly a 8mm drill bit or drill uh, with a smaller drill first and then use the 8mm you will only need to drill the, the surface metal because the, the it's too bright to see that the, the, there's already uh, a place for a bolt so you don't only need to drill the the right surface so that you can get a hole through. Then you also need to, uh, you might want to clean the, the, the what's a groove or recess where the trim piece goes. And you might want to spray uh, body wax or paint or lacquer or whatever you want so that these, these don't start to rust when you drill through them. And you only need to drill the right, the surface so that don't drill too deep because then you start to drill the where the bolt goes. Then we'll put these in so like this. Just drop the the, the plastic piece here, and then the bolts on the corresponding holes, 
and this will actually space out the, the, the piece accordingly so when you put it like this there's no you can be sure assured that it's the right way around um, and then you just tighten them in And I like to do the last part by hand because then I can feel the how tight it is. Yeah, that's right. This. Right, and this remember needs, this needs to face inside in because you will be putting the the bolt that holds the roof rails in in place through here. Right. And then three more, uh, two more. So then uh, the neutral piece should look like this. There should be four square holes. That you can fit the, the brackets through and then if you got the the old trim piece here and the new trim piece and there's these cl clips you can check them by side by side that there's the right amount of clips and yeah sure there is and you might want to uh, then mm, you really shouldn't compare the the placement because they might move when you remove them so a good trick is to place the mm, trim piece like, like this and, and compare the, the clip to the metal piece that it clips in if they're right about in the right position uh, it should be fine and then uh, like opposite to removing the first piece to go in is the front because it goes a bit under the, the front glass plastic and then you just gently, don't press it, uh, the, the clips in yet, place it gently, and then with the back I like to align it with the roof line, and when you're happy with the alignment, just press the first clip in, and then move along and press the clips in. like that. Now we have the trim piece in place and now we can place the uh, roof rail. So this is the roof rail and now before you put it in place this might be uh, these pieces might be good to replace. These are rubber grommets that, that cushion between the roof and the roof rail and and because if you buy this used like I did these are usually not in the best shape and they flop around even if you try to put them in place so I recommend replacing these and there are six of these and the on eBay I couldn't find a whole set I could find just uh, single pieces and I actually couldn't find enough single pieces to complete the set but a good place to buy these is bmwparts.fi I can put a link on, down in the description and um, yeah it's a really cheap uh, 60 euros the whole set so it's not a lot of euros per piece and then replace everyone every piece and, and if you want before replacing if you're good with paint and stuff you can take this apart and repaint it or resurface it with some kind of uh, scratch resistant paint or something to make it uh, re uh, more resilient but I won't be doing that because I'm not good with paint all right uh, yeah now this hole should be free I put a clip uh, right about here and if you put you've done that no problem just put it your finger here and slide the 
clip right here and it should be fine because this needs to go here to locate the, the piece in place so now put this and watch the, the left uh, the rest of the, the rail so you don't scratch the, uh, scratch the roof now when it's in place like this Uh, put the bolts in and then tighten them one by one until you uh, before you you tighten them, them completely so that you can slide it around and get the fitment you want line it with this or the back one because whatever you like it's uh, it's good we've put the bolts in and you might want to and tighten them a few rounds so that they go on the right grooves and then now then the rest you can hand tighten this thing I got hard there okay so now uh, I aligned it with this, uh, this line here on the twin piece because I couldn't decide if I would want to land it with the roof line here or the roof line on the up front so I decided to go middle way and land this and these are this is now fully tightened almost a uh, few these two bolts need to be hand tightened down like so Like that, and then just pop these in, and it should it's sturdy enough to move the whole car. So it's it's tight enough. Job done.